Today, we're diving into the vibrant and diverse heart of South America, Colombia. Get ready to discover the top 10 best places to visit in this enchanting country, from the lush landscapes to the bustling cities. Colombia features a biodiverse location with sections of the Sierra Nevada, the Santa Maria Mountains, the Amazon Rainforest, and the Andes Mountains included within its territory. Its landscapes are breathtakingly scenic, rich with life and impactful vistas. And these best places to visit in Colombia are the perfect way to experience the best of Colombia for an extraordinary trip to this wealthy and beautiful land. 1. Villa de Liva Villa de Liva may be a small town less than a four-hour drive from Bogota, but its Plaza Mayor is one of the biggest town squares in South America. At one time, people were executed on this immense square, which is now used as a gathering place for celebrations and festivals such as the Onion Beauty Pageant. Its architecture reflects Spanish and Moorish influences. Indeed, Villa de Liva reminds us of Andalusia because of the white buildings with wooden trim and balconies. Museums honor famous people who fought for Colombian independence. The first distillery in the region is located here. Two. Guatape in central Colombia, in the department of Antioquia, is the picturesque resort town of Guatape. Famous for its vibrant colored walls referred to as Zocalos, Guatape has another iconic feature, the El Payan de Guatape or the Rock of Guatape. In South America, the Rock of Guatape is the second largest monolithic rock, with Sugarloaf Mountain in Rio, Brazil, beating it for first place. As a result, this natural formation has become one of the top activities for visitors to Guatape. Visitors to the town can reach the top of the rock summit by taking the path of stairs winding to the top. And from the summit of the rock of Guatape are breathtaking panoramic views of the area, including the Calca River and the Bajape Reservoir. 3. Rosario Islands A collection of 27 islands, the Rosario Islands are about an hour's trip by boat from Partagena, a port city on the Caribbean coast. The Rosario Islands are located within the San Bernardo Corals National Natural Park to protect its abundant biodiversity and coral reefs. The Rosario Islands are a must-visit tropical paradise with stunningly clear waters and sugar-white sand. One of the most unique activities at the Rosario Islands is the bioluminescent plankton. There are even tours that take visitors to the islands through the waters to witness the natural wonder of the bioluminescent plankton as they light up the waters. 4. Ciudad Perdida Nestled in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, Ciudad Perdida, translated to Lost City, is an archaeological site of an ancient city estimated to be founded in 800 CE. It was established around 650 years before Machu Picchu. After the Spanish arrived in the area, the city was abandoned in the 16th century. The jungle swallowed it, keeping it hidden until 1972 when treasure looters rediscovered the city. It is considered one of the most significant discoveries in modern-day times. In the present day, Ciudad Perdida is inaccessible by road. Instead, people travel worldwide to hike to the lost city on educational guided tours. The hike takes about four days, traveling up steep hills, narrow stone steps, and across the Birataca River. The hike is completely rewarding to reach Ciudad Perdida, where trekkers can picture how indigenous communities once thrived in the area in ancient times. 5. Papayan one of Colombia's most impressive colonial cities, Popayan, is situated in the Pupenza Valley in southwestern Colombia. Famous for its Holy Week celebrations, Popayan is a spiritual city full of vibrancy and history. Termed La Ciudad Blanca, the White City, Popayan for the eye-catching white facades of its many historic colonial buildings. In 1537, the city was founded by Sebastian de Belalcazar, a Spanish conquistador and explorer. As one of the oldest cities in South America, a visit to Popayan is a trip back in time thanks to the city's dedication to preserving the historic city. The Point del Humiladero is one such gem. The bridge was built in 1873 and extends over the Molino River. Underneath the bridge is a park that attracts locals and tourists alike to find some peace and refreshment in the beautiful outdoors of Popayan. The Iglesia de Ermita is the city's oldest church, built in 1546, while the Iglesia de San Francisco lays claim to being the most beautiful. Another is the Cathedral Basilica of Our Lady of the Assumption, a majestic cathedral paired with the equally eye-catching Por del Reload, the clock tower. 6. Leticia Capital of the Department of Amazonas, Leticia is the tourist hotspot for access to the Colombian Amazon. It rests on the border of Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. The bustling city of Leticia welcomes people from across the globe looking to experience its rich culture and experiences in the great outdoors of the prosperous Amazon rainforest. The nearby Mundo Amazonico is a relatively small nature reserve with a diverse array of flora species endemic to the Amazon. The reserve also hosts a tea house, an aquarium for an up-close look at Amazonia fish and accessible jungle trails to see local wildlife. 
Less than an hour's trip by boat from Letitia is Monkey Island, called Asla de los Mycos. The river island is home to a natural reserve with species such as the squirrel monkey that have made the island home. A shorter boat trip from Letitia, less than 20 minutes away, is the Victoria Regia Natural Reserve, which features the giant floating lilies known as the Victoria Amazonica. 7. San Andres and Providencia San Andres and Providencia are Chiplago are two island groups that are located closer to Nicaragua than Colombia in the Caribbean. San Andres is the largest island and also the capital. Providence Island was initially settled by English Puritans who used slave labor on their plantations and took up privateering. White sand beaches and palm trees are San Andres' best features. The Caribbean is colored seven shades of blue and is rich marine life, making it a great place to snorkel and dive. Accommodations aren't as luxurious as other Caribbean islands and visitors travel around the island on old school buses. 8. San Agustin San Agustin is a laid-back little town surrounded by awesome landscapes and the remains of a forgotten civilization. One of the most intriguing ancient sites in Colombia, the archaeological park of San Agustin is home to more than 500 monoliths, statues, petroglyphs, and sarcophagi. No one knows their actual name. Most of what is known about this society comes from the interpretation of the carved statues and other ruins. 9. Medellin Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Medellin was considered one of the most dangerous cities in the world, home to Colombia's infamous cocaine cartel. But when drug lord Pablo Escobar was snuffed out in 1993, Medellin began to bury its troubled past and rebounded tremendously. These days, the increasing number of tourists who come here find an inviting modern city with one of the country's best climates. The city has fine dining selections for a romantic evening out, world-famous coffee to savor, and trendy bars to socialize with locals and fellow tourists. 10. San Gil Situated in the Department of Santander in Eastern Andino, San Gil is notorious for being the adventure sports capital of Colombia. Founded in 1689, the town displays cobblestone streets, historic structures, defining architecture, and rich culture in one magnetic place. It has become a popular travel destination amongst backpackers, though it is not a crowded tourist spot. Nevertheless, San Gil offers plenty of activity and adventure for an unrivaled, memorable trip. Bungee jumping is one of the most popular activities in San Gil, which is well known for its affordable pricing. Another hot activity in San Gil is whitewater rafting, which has one of the world's rarest opportunities to raft class 5 rapids. There's also swimming at the two best swimming spots, Pescadero and Pozo Azul. Closer to town, Pozo Azul is only two miles from San Gil and has a gentle current perfect for relaxing in the waters. One of the tallest waterfalls in Colombia is only a 30-minute drive from San Gil. The Duan Cure waterfall near the town of Palenque is surrounded by rich greenery and makes for a rewarding hike. Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this virtual expedition, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more travel inspiration, and ring the notification bell so you never miss a new adventure. Thanks for watching.